I want to talk about Christians in name only because there are many Christians who are just in name only. And what I'm saying is they're just a Christian. They've been born again, but there's nothing else, no evidence of the life of Christ in them. It's, you know, it's analogous to the, I have a, a picture of an army man with just a helmet on. He's naked. His body's naked. And we often use Ephesians chapter 6 where it talks about the, the weapons of our warfare and that we, we, we're to gird our loins up with truth and shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel and the breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith. And that's our, that's our armor. However, many Christians just have on a helmet. They're a naked army man with just a helmet because they're Christians in name only. How can you win in a battle? This is the army now. We're not in the army. We are the army. How can you win in a battle? When you don't have a sword, you don't have a sword, which is the word. You got to have the word. And God said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So you have to have the word. And then they don't have a shield to quench all the flaming missiles or fiery darts of the evil one. You got to have faith. The word is the object of your faith. And then, and then you, have to, uh, you have to exercise your faith. You can't be doubting and worrying and so forth. So you got to stand strong through it all. So if you have no word, then you're not going to have any faith because the object of your faith is the word of God. So you got to have faith and then shod your feet. What are you standing on? You got no boots on. You got to stand on something. So when you, you got to stand on the promises of God. But if you don't know the promises, you have no word. What are you standing on? You're trying to be healed of cancer or sickle cell or whatever it is. You want your marriage delivered. You want, you want your children delivered and what have you. But you don't have anything to stand on. You're an army. You're a naked army man. All you have on is a helmet. Or, it's, you know, something attacks your body or your money. All you have is a helmet. You don't have any sword. You got to exercise the word of God. That's what I'm getting at. So don't be a Christian in name only. Exercise the word of God. Apply it on a daily basis. Yes, get scriptures that pertain to your situation and apply those scriptures and stand on the promises of God. Know that Genesis 12 says that we are blessed. You know, he said, I'll bless them that bless you to Abraham. And Galatians 3, 7 and 9 says that them that be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Stand on those promises that you're already blessed. You have the abundance of increase in favor for your mortgage loan, for your house loan, for your, your car loan, for your school tuition and what have you. Your children have favor. Deuteronomy 28, he said he'll command the blessing on the fruit of your womb and everything you set your hand to. Stand on those passages there. Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes you are healed. Matthew 8, 17, he bore your sickness and took your infirmities. Yes, stand on that. Stand on the promises for your prosperity. Honor the Lord with your substance. Proverbs 3, 9 and 10. And the first fruit of all of your increase. And Malachi 3, 10 through 12. Stand on the promises of God. Yes, that's how we win. So you're, you're, there's many Christians just in name only. That's why they lose in life. They fail in life because they don't have any armor. And the armor is the word of God. Sanctify them with truth. The word is truth. Amen. Now go to anthonyblackmanministries.com. Check out my site there and, and sign up and subscribe and, and be a partner along, alongside there as well and stay abreast of the things that, that I put out there. God bless you. I'm, I'm for you. I'm for you and, and, and God is for you and who dare be against you. In Jesus' name.